Good morning, everybody. Right, it's 7.52 in the morning and I've already been working. <laughs> so what I'm going to show you now is, um, you know how I like to funk up my papers? And um, do you remember I did some, I've just done this one this morning. So um, let's just see if I can show you. Oh, God, there we go with this blooming camera. Right. See, I've got stuff in the way and I can't move. So we're funking up paper. And all it is is photographic paper. I have to get outwards like that, right? Now that you can stamp on. Lovely, funky paper. Stamp on it, do what you like with it. Uh, then I've done this one, which I love them colours together. And that's the butterscotch and the, I think it's the meadow. So stamping on that would be fantastic. And then I did that one using the darker colours, but I love it, you know, fantastic. You could use them on a tag, you could use them to make, a, you know, cut out a butterfly or whatever you wanted. Again, the green and the orange, love that as well. See, funky paper. And then that one beautiful colours I mean look at it and then I thought <sighs> I need to jazz it up more and I bought some of you may remember some of this Windsor and Newton ink which is that one I'm not sure if you can see it and y you know you get 14 mil in that how much are in these 15 mil in the um, uh, Tim Holtz ones but you get the 14 mil in that one and the best thing about this stuff is you can mix it with that and when you do and you can heat set it this is the first one I tried when I mixed them together and I absolutely love it really do the Windsor ones in the background the yellowy one is the um, um, butterscotch one from you know the Tim Holtz one but then I thought no nope, we could jazz it up even more and look, I tried a different technique and I think it's fab. And I'm going to show you how to do it. And with the Windsor and Newton ink, when you heat set it, it, it actually dries as is. If it's left on the paper, it doesn't spread like the alcohol inks. And it can leave little bumps where the majority of the ink settled. And it looks fab. So to stamp on that now, I mean, the butterflies I'm going to get by doing that is brilliant. So I'm just going to show you how to do it. Take your piece of um, photographic paper. Get your ink. Very, very simple. It would be if I found my brush. Oh, I found my brush. Hang on. Dry my brush off. Take my ink. Fill the brush up. And dribble it about. Whatever you want your ink, dribble it. Because you're going to have some fun in a minute, right? I think that'll do. Wash my brush straight away. The best thing is this doesn't dry. You can heat set it to dry it. It'll dry eventually if you leave it. So, um, but I've just been playing about this morning and love the idea. Right, what I'm going to do now, take a straw. And you have to blow it in all directions. Look at that. Look at my sheet. It's matted. But I want to leave it. See when it's wet. Now we've got like clumps of all the ink. And I'm going to leave that because I like the ridge. Dry that off. I mean I could do more with it. I'm just showing you. The heat gun will re uh, set where it's uh, gathered lots of liquid, lots of ink. And now, 
I'm going to use a butterscotch again because I like that colour, them two colours together. But when I put it on, I'm going to blow. Let me just bend the paper back a little bit. Okay. Drop, drop it on. And blow it. If you blow into the middle of the it spreads out in different ways you know it spreads out like that let's turn it around a bit put a bit here a bit here and I do like it with the white but then I'm going to just heat set it quickly. Put my lid back on. And look at that. Isn't that fab? It really is. If you can get a bit closer, a bit clearer. Look at that. <laughs> I love it. And I can do so much with that on my projects. Oops, sorry, ladies. And I just think that that mixed with the other ink is fab. So I'm just going to try another colour for you. <clears throat> I only have this one, but I will be going and getting more because I do this in every colour. I'm going to go and get a collection of these in because I absolutely adore it. I love it. I love the way it, it does it. Just drip it, drip it on. Dribble, should I say, not drip it. Drip it, drip it, drip it. <laughs> Jesus, I'm laughing first thing in the morning. I haven't even woke up yet. Make sure you wash your brush straight away, ladies. And here we go. I'm shaking the br uh, the um, straw as well to make it go in different directions. It, it squiggles. It's fantastic. getting all oh look at <laughs> now look look at all the veins in that isn't that marvelous that is brilliant oh well what color shall I put with that no let me blow that bit <clears throat> oh, I love that now let me see let me see let me where's my color chart I love the butterscotch with it but I'm going to try I think the stream where is the stream it's that one just to see what this looks like ready oh yes definitely oh I like this oh, I could sit here all day doing this if I didn't go dizzy And it just sits over it. It's fantastic. Right, what I'm going to do is just put a little bit of the latte in it. Because I do... Um, no, butterscotch, sorry. Oh, yes. Good shot. Oh, and the greens that come out in that. Fabulous. Oh, I like this. <coughs> Just see this bit. I'll show you. I'm not bothered about a little bit.